Hey, it's Jason with Dad That Cook. I'm here at my trailer hanging out during the summer, which I'm sure most of you guys like doing is having fun during the summer. So today we're gonna make a spiced salmon with fennel and beets. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to taste it. So we're gonna do some spiced almonds. We're gonna put these in a little pan, spread them out nice and even. Okay, we'll let those get nice and toasty and all that good stuff. We got this local spicery, which is a cool little company, um, and they make some great rubs and spices. So we're doing their Stinson rub, and I'm gonna use it for the spices on the almonds, and I'm gonna use it for the spices on the salmon, too. Tablespoon of honey, olive oil, water, one little tablespoon of the spice rub. Oh, that smells good. So you're only gonna do this for a couple minutes, and you're gonna take it off the heat. You want the spices to kind of bloom a little bit. We'll put the, the honey and all that mixed together in this little bowl, and then we'll put them back on the cooking sheet, and we'll let them cook for another five minutes. Take our sauce that we've got, drizzle that stuff right on in. It's gonna taste really good. Can't wait. So I got this recipe from Bobby Flay, because he makes a lot of good stuff, and I figured, you know, let's try something different, right? All right, so that's all mixed up. I'm gonna just spread that out onto the pan, like so. And put that back in for another five minutes. The almonds now are done. They've been in the oven for a little over five minutes. So let's pull them out, take a look at it, and see how they turned out. Let's do it. Look at that. Awesome. These turned out great. Killer stuff. Now we got our bowl of nuts. Those are done. We can set those aside. We're ready to roll with the salmon, right? The salmon is pretty simple. I've cranked up the oven to 375 now. And the other good tip is to leave your salmon out for like an hour. So that way it gets to room temperature and you're like set to go. Otherwise it won't bake evenly, it won't come out evenly, and you'll be bummed out. You know what I'm saying? So first thing you need to do is you need to get a little olive oil and we gotta brush that sucker up with some olive oil and throw a little salt and pepper on them. Simple, and we're gonna throw that in there for about 15, 20 minutes, okay? All right. While the salmon is baking, doing its thing for the next 15 minutes or so, let's get to the, the herbs and the spices and these little guys that we're gonna make a little kind of a little salad out of. So this is just something you're gonna put on top of the salmon when it's ready to roll. So I got some chives, I got some tarragon, and I got some dill, and then we're gonna finally slice some of this uh, beet as well as the fennel. And we're gonna slice that up, put a little lemon juice on it, a little olive oil, and some salt, some pepper, mix it all up, put it in a bowl, boom, and we'll be able to put it on top. And then we'll top it off with some of our almonds we did earlier, okay? So let's get with the tarragon. So let's cut some of these chives up, get the dill and the tarragon together. Guys, and let's do a nice little fine chop, little chop on these. Oh yeah, that works. As long as I don't slice my finger off, we're good. Yeah, little fennel slices. Can't say I'm doing it like Bobby Flay, but oh well, it's gonna taste good. Now we gotta add some olive oil and some lemon juice, pepper, kosher salt. So now let's just mix it up. So now we got our little mixture here. Jason, don't we have to get the salmon out of the oven? What? Oh, you fell asleep, didn't you? Okay, let's pull it out. Oh yeah, that looks great. That looks really good. Oh man, yeah, check that out. All right, cool. So now all we gotta do is top our stuff off with that. Spiced salmon, shaved beet, fennel, lemon, and herbs. I'll be out to taste it. Oh yeah? In a minute. In a minute. Okay. Well, the wife's gonna come out in a minute and try it out. Lulu. I call her Lulu. I think I'm gonna try a little bite right real quick. Is that okay with you? All right, great, I'm gonna try a little bite. Mm. Wow. 
That really is good. I love the fennel. Never played with fennel too much, but this is really good. I love the kick that it gives. It's like that, that licorice taste is so good. I mean, have it. Seriously, this is another really good meal. Simple, easy, tasty. You're gonna love it. And I'll put it up on, on the website. You have the recipe, you have the video, everything. I'm stoked, this is awesome. Bobby Flay, you the man. You make amazing meals. I just copied you. So hey, cool. Make sure you make it and have a lot of fun and I'll see you next time on Dad's That Cook. Hey, thanks for watching. You like our videos? Well then do me a favor and subscribe because then we can update you on what's going on. You'll also know when we're giving away really cool stuff which happens all the time. So make sure you subscribe and we'll be in touch.